welcome back to another episode of Tin in the Kitchen. Today you are going to cook with me my husband's recipe of pork chop. It's absolutely delicious, juicy on the inside, golden brown, crispy on the outside. It's a very simple recipe and I hope you stick around and join me for today's episode. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are thin cut pork chop, a quarter of an inch thick, your choice of seasoning salt, pepper, and you'll also need all purpose flour. At our household, we actually like to cut our pork chop into three. It's just so that when you cook the pork chop, the meat doesn't end up curling up. Cut it at an angle, cut it on the other side triangle in a sense. So now we're gonna add our seasoning salt. We like to use this one from Freddy's but you can use Lori's or whatever type of seasoning salt you have. A good amount on both sides. Make sure you cover all of the meat. Then some cracked pepper on top. Now we're gonna season the other side. So now I added the flour and basically we're going to take our pork chop and just coat it with flour on both sides. This is what's going to give it that really crispy, crunchy texture. Give it a shake. Now we're going to put it onto our other plate. Preheat our pan to about medium high. Cover the bottom of the pan with oil. Before putting the pork chop in the pan, you want to give the pork chop a shake. Get rid of any excess flour. You want to let this cook for about 30 seconds and then flip it right away. Let the pork chop cook for about 2 minutes on each side, flipping the pork chop every minute. Total cook time for the pork chop is 6 minutes. To determine whether or not the pork chop is done, you'll see that the oil isn't bubbling as much. So now we can actually take this out and strain the oil. And we just garnished with some tomatoes. It's nice and golden brown. It's crispy. And I want you guys to actually hear the crunch because this is super, super delicious. We typically like to dip this in a vinegar sauce that contains ground pepper. I believe we made that in a previous tin in the kitchen. I'm gonna link it right up here in the card area, but I want you to actually hear how crispy this pork chop is. So let's actually try a bit. Hope you can hear the crunch. Mm-hmm. Perfectly breaded with the flour. It's absolutely delicious. I hope you give this recipe a try. It's so easy. If you end up trying this recipe, Please send me a picture through Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. So if you enjoyed today's Tin in the Kitchen, please give this video a big like. Whenever you hit that like button, it actually helps with the YouTube algorithm so my video will be able to be seen by other people. If you already haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I would love for you guys to be a part of the Chicky Crew. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on Wednesday for a brand new video. Mwah.